Hello everybody and welcome back to Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. I'm in a pretty good mood right now, it's only going to get better. So, we need to find another chapter page, right? Uh, I'm thinking I probably have to go upstairs to the room that's dark, or perhaps I have to maybe reveal the invisible door, the one that Maximilian couldn't get into, the one, uh, the servants' quarters one. Uh, I'm not really 100% about that, but let's just see which one it is, it's one of those. Or maybe not. <laughs> I was so sure it was going to be one of those, but maybe not. Um, hi there. How are you doing? I can't get the blood out. Oh! Well, that could be a problem, but there's, there's no blood, so no worries. But I found a basement key! Okay, the ghost had a basement key. Okay, she's gone now. Weird. Right, let's, um, let's go to the- Whoa, fucking hell, that nearly clotheslined me, that one! <laughs> Let's go to the basement. That's probably where I need to go. Uh, yeah, we need to go in that dark room at some point, though. And we need to definitely go through into the servants' quarters. Shush, 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 shush. The door is locked. Of course it is. But not for... No wonder I couldn't access my inventory. I'm going to get a load of hallucinations. <laughs> Just look at that sanity meter. I want to keep it this low, though, because I want to get a full range of hallucinations. It's fun. So, basement key. I'm using it this time. Good, okay. In we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking with the series so far, i got to say. Uh, we're nearly at the end. I think there's only two or three chapters to go. Okay. So, where where do we even start here? Let's, let's see. Shotgun shells? I'll take some shotgun shells. I haven't found a shotgun yet, though. More shotgun shells? Okay. This seems to be, like, bricked up or cemented up. Some concrete over it. I don't think I can get down there quite yet. Um, we have a big safe over here. Let's have a look. The safe is large and old-fashioned, made in the days when security was derived from the heavy metal construction, rather than secure locking mechanisms. It doesn't look like it, <laughs> but it'd be too difficult to break the combination. If only Alex had a stethoscope to hear the tumblers more clearly. Right, okay, so she can sort of like crack her own safe in a way. Okay, some revolver ammunition. Fine, fine. Uh, is there no stethoscope around here? There's nothing I'm missing. Is there... Yeah, that that's a fuse box. That's that's what I want. That's definitely what I want. Because the last item I received, taped to the back of the chapter page, was a lucky penny. And if I'm not mistaken, all but one of the fuses are intact. Ho <laughs> ho! Well, lucky penny is lucky again. For the same use as well. It replaced the missing fuse. Okay, trip the breaker. So the lights come back on in that room, so yeah, okay, the, ne the next chapter page must be in that room. Okay, uh, I guess let's let's head up there. Sure. What about this side? We got anything on this side? We got some, we got some barrels and we got a, a big ass shotgun. That's the one I wanted. A pump action shotgun hangs from a plaque mounted on the dusty wall, which I'm going to pick up. Okay. Alright. No. <laughs> I love this shit. I love it. Oh dear. What? Did I pick? Uh, okay, sometimes it like resets your progress when it goes into hallucination, so I wasn't really sure if I picked up the shotgun or not, but I did. I did. So let's go back out, and let's go upstairs, and um, wh wh which one is it? Uh, one of the rooms to the left, it must be. I'm not sure which now. But yeah, looking pretty bad. Wow, look at that painting. That's changed. A hellish depiction of some monstrous landscape. A blood-colored sky hangs over a dementedly surreal land in which flayed skins flap in, a, in an acidic breeze. What mind could have conceived this? Well, yours, really. <laughs> um, I found Kareem's chapter in there. It's not that one. It must be here. Yeah? Yeah, this is it. Okay. So there's something on this chest over here. Okay, that's not a chapter page, but it is a page from the Journal of Maximilian Roivus, which we are uh, going to read some more of right now. I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learned to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. Do you mean like your servants and stuff like that? All turning into bone thieves and trying to kill you? I can, uh, I can understand that. Didn't I see any- oh. Oh, it was the sink, I see. And it's an antique medicine cabinet hanging on the wall. Open the cabinet. And what do we have inside? Of course, a chapter page. 
So, uh, yeah, retrieve it. Absolutely. Which one's this? A Legacy of Darkness. All right. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Uriah. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Something's telling me that they do. Hmm. Oh well. Alright then, so this chapter page, A Legacy of Darkness. Let's get started. Oh, I'm playing as my grandfather. Oh, 1952. No intro? Weird. I don't think I'll ever fix that green. I'm trying every single video, but not working. Did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believed that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. All right then. Okay, this this chapter is long, and I mean really long. Not because of backtracking and stuff either. This is stuff you're going to want to see. So I might actually split this chapter into two. I don't know. It might might, might take like half an hour, uh, an hour and a half or something like that. Okay. Right. There's a massive, massive book up here on the fireplace. It's a journal of family history. Rests on the mantle as it used recently. Okay. Pick it up. I found a historical journal. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at that historical journal. And I guess have a look at the uh, the liquid courage we've got as well. What does that do? Is that is that health or... I suppose courage is some... Okay, yeah, yeah, sanity. Using this will regain sanity. So I've got seven uses of that. My health is dire. My magic and sanity, not bad. But I don't have a weapon at the moment. Anyway, I do have an historical journal. Let's check it. An old musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. The book covers the early history of the Roivus family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Oh, really? Get it out. Yes, do it. Edward has found the minute hand... The minute hand of a clock! The minute hand of a clock. Alright. Will I have to find the hour hand as well? Possibly. Possibly. So we're in my little library area. The door at the end doesn't appear to exist yet. Uh, the sort of like secret study area down here. Oh.
sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Okay, that's a little bit hard to do when you don't actually have the hour hand. But I do have the minute hand, so we can put that on straight away, as Maximilian has requested. So, uh, there we are. Okay. Right, I just need to find that hour hand, and I guess I'll come back. This isn't open yet, right? No, it's not open. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I thought I saw a scroll in the cutscene, actually. It's an ancient scroll of paper sitting on the chair, and what magical spell is this? Magic pool. Okay. Oh, uh, please remind me what that does again. Oh, that's right, I don't have a book. Ah, right, I think that, like, regenerates um, some of your, like, sanity or magic or health or whatever you want to do. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Okay, let's explore the rest of the house. Just like Maximilian did. I'm just waiting for the servants to turn on me, honestly. Okay, let's start off with the basement. Can we go to the basement? We cannot. Okay, fine. Let's let's write that one off for a moment. Uh, can we see if there's anything around the clock? No, but it's still stuck with 3.33. It's been like that for years. Right, okay, so there's a couple of, couple of doors over here. Let's go through in here. Oh, what's this? Ammo? Yeah, 38 revolver ammo. Right, I'm going to get an assortment of weapons this chapter, I believe. Anything in the larder, in the pantry? No, nothing at all. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Just looking, looking for anything that lights up, really. And the answer to that is, there's not much. <laughs> so, through to the double doors. Can I play the piano? I'm not sure. Is there something secret in the piano? Maybe? No, I never, I never learned to play the piano. Of course, I don't have the book now, so it's a bit silly looking at it right now. Because I don't know the stories. Ah, check it out, though. Finally, a weapon. An antique cavalry saber. Mounted on a display stand, gleams in the moonlight. Not for long, because it's coming with me. <laughs> Go about your work. Don't mind me. I'm just walking around with my sword again. Uh, can we move? No. Oh, we've seen that a few times. I don't think I need to mess around with it this time. Okay, I think we might be done with this room. There's nothing else to have a look at. I might need to come back for the piano, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Let's go upstairs. I'm sure there's a few rooms upstairs that I can go to. Oh, get out of the way. I, I nearly stabbed you. Okay, so through the double doors. Uh, I, I guess let's, let's start with the left. And let's check out this bedroom here. I assume it's still a bedroom. It is. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's something over here. Shotgun shells. Right. And something more. Elephant gun ammunition. Yeah, you see, there's a lot of guns. In fact, I think there's one over there in a cabinet. It is, yeah. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet. Itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the windows to get inside. But where did he leave the key? Good question. Good question. Maybe in a, another book. Or like this, possibly. Okay, so this is a journal of family history. And uh, I think it's probably going to have either the key or, or uh, an hour hand in it. Let's check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, there seems to be something pressed between the pages. Get it out. It's the hour hand. Okay. All right, I'll be going downstairs momentarily. Uh, let's just keep having a look for that, for that key then, I suppose. And just collect all the ammo that I can as well, because I think I'm going to need it, honestly. This is a very, very hard chapter. The last the last chapter was relatively easy minus a, a boss fight at the end, but this one is a bit of a struggle, actually. And that might be why it, it goes on for so long. Oh, I don't think there's anything in here, actually, so let's just move on. Okay, the, the servants, like, call... Just gonna say that the servants' quarters door is is gone. What the fuck? Did I hallucinate that? I'm not even sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, she informs Edward that she believes the weather will worsen. She hasn't heard it being this bad for many decades. It's not good, is it? Right. Okay. Uh, there's nothing over here. There should be a couple more rooms at the other end just to have a look at, and then I think we should move downstairs. Okay, so we got anything in here? Nothing on the bedside table, I see. Okay. Mantelpiece. Ah! Yes! 38 revolver ammunition. 
Brilliant. I mean, usually I sort of neglect the ranged weapons. In this one, I think I'm going to have to use them quite a lot, honestly. Shotgun shells again. Yeah, the second half of this is gonna, it's just going to be hell for me, honestly. Might be hell to watch as well, I think. Well, you'll, you'll see when we get there. <laughs> no jump scare this time. The master bathroom is woefully spartan and only barely contemporary. It appears to satisfy the most practical of tastes, or perhaps someone who has their mind set on other things. Yeah, set on other things, I think, at this point. Right. Well, let's move on. Let's move downstairs, because I, I think we've we've looked at everything we can look at. We've picked up everything we can pick up at the moment. Please get out of the way, sir. Thank you. You don't want to get stabbed, do you? Right, so down we go. Back to the library. Stamina on this guy is pretty good. I mean, well, he's my grandfather, but he's, he's, he's quite a young man at this point. Probably in his 30s or something like that. Late 20s, maybe. Alright. So, the hour hand. Let's add it to the clock, and then set it to 3.33. Easy as that. Okay, so, um, it can be adjusted. So, adjust it, please. And... Oh, somewhere here, isn't it? God, oh, so finicky, but I got it. Follow the ghost. He's dealing with this rather well, honestly. His sanity didn't go down when he saw a dead ancestor. That's kind of strange. There it is. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my wasted death. I'll try my best. Nah, I should be able to do it. I should be able to do it. Okay, lots of things to pick up in here, it looks like. First off, more shotgun shells. There's also a revolver on the wall. So, let's take that. Yep, a loaded revolver on the display pack. I'm having that. Uh, of course, there is the book, so... Without further ado, let's once more pick up the tome. Alrighty then. Oh, and in doing so, I discovered the magic pool spell. The, the three-point version. Summon area. Okay. I guess I can check what that does now. But does that mean that it only... Uh... Oh, it is this one. Okay. Oh, shit. Have I missed one? Oh, I hope I haven't missed one. That could be vital. Shit. Uh, yeah, so magic pool. Let's have a little check. This magic transfers uh, the innate magical energy of the environment to the self. The limitless power of the ancients will be at your disposal for the duration of the magic. Once the magic has waned, you'll be bereft of spiritual power and until it naturally seeps back into your being. So yeah, I think depending on if you choose like Uliath, Jatoga or whatever, um, you like regen your health quicker or your magic quicker or your sanity quicker or I think maybe if you do it with Mansarok, maybe all three at once. So that's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need to co uh, concoct a few new spells to get the better version, so bear with me. Okay, so there we go. I've got all three magic pool spells. Fantastic. Right, now let's see what else we got around here. Oh, something else. Elephant gun ammunition again. Okay. I think it's the elephant gun in the cabinet, and I really do want to get that, honestly. Uh, okay, well, there's something else over here. More shotgun shells. I would examine everything here, but we've already examined it as Alex, so that's a little bit pointless. What's this? More revolver ammunition. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, I, I think... I think we're good to go. So... Oh, shit. What's the next move? You know what? I'm going to use a magic pool spell. I'm going to use all, all of my magic, basically, to do this. And I'm going to see if it is what I think it is. Let's use Mantarok. See what happens there. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> I get like a flashing symbol above my head, so I'm like protected by Mantarok or something. And uh, the bars stay up. So I think, yeah, it's it's boosting the regeneration rate of, of all three bars at once. Which is fucking incredible, honestly. Right. Oh, what's that? Is that a key? Looks like a key to me. 
Oh dear. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't get, <laughs> wouldn't take too long for the servants to turn on you. Fuck. Okay, shit. Hang on. Wait. Uh, let's have a look. Half a key tumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. It glints on the floor. Okay. All right. So it's the bottom half of the basement key. Where the hell is the top half? No idea. Right. I don't think I really have a choice to accept this as anything other than your resignation. It's a pity that we couldn't part amicably. Uh, do I have to finish you off? Apparently not. No, I'm just going to leave you and your head there. Okay, so this invisible enemy that took out her, or that changed her, I think... Aha! You can see it! You can see it going up the stairs. I'm going to have to take him out. I went through here then, yeah? Just got to follow the sounds at the moment. Sounds like he's... Yeah, he went to the right. Oh no! Another one's going to bite the dust pretty soon if I don't do something, so let's go do something. But, uh, let's go do something in a little moment. I'm going to enchant my item to, um, yeah, that one, I guess. I'll stick with the saber for now. I want to save on the ammo. I still think it's incredible that for such a good enchant, you only have to use a little bit of your magic bar. But there we go. And, there we, and it's recharging more or less instantly as well. Alright, stop that. Seriously, stop it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Let me go away. Stop it. Oh no! You bloody don't. Where'd, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Into the... What? What? Where's this? Where? Oh! Ah, oh, that's the... Oh, that's the... That's the basement! Right. So how come he can go in there and I can't? Teleporting son of a bitch. Right, okay. Well, at least I saved this guy. How you doing, man? Pretty good? Pretty bad? Are you going to give me something? Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He wants that the creature might still be around. An extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. And it's the gun cabinet key, so that means I can probably go get either the shotgun or the elephant gun. Or both, I'm not sure. Should be kind of cool. Uh, so that's that's down here at the other end of the corridor, and uh, and yeah, and I think that thing can more or less one shot this um this creature, whatever it's called. I want to say I want to say vampire because it sucks blood. I think it's vampire. Right, so gun cabinet key. There we are. Now that looks to me okay. There's only one. Is it the elephant gun? Good, good. The elephant gun is the is the the better one, I think, really. It's also the one I'm going to save. Oh, it's got a mode. I can change the fire selector on guns. Uh, okay. Oh, I see, like, single or double barrel. Right, yeah, got it. Okay, so, um, yeah, two at once, I think's pretty good. Double the firepower, I suppose, in one, one big kick. Fine, okay, cool. I gotta say, I love this magic pool thing with Mantrock. It It's just making this game a lot easier, I think. Okay, so next move, next move. I need to find the top half of the key, don't I? Uh, I, I also need to kill the vampire. He's down at the basement. Is the basement door... It can't be unlocked, because why would I have the key otherwise? I'm a little bit confused, but... Let's just have a look, shall we? I just want to see... No, the door is locked. Okay. So where do I have to go? I'm actually a little bit stumped right now. Um, just out of interest, can I leave? Might as well give it a go. No. My curiosity. No, 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 no. He drives himself to uncover the truth behind the mansion and his ancestors. For the good of humanity. Yeah, he can't leave. Okay. It mu- Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. Did you just see that? I think he went upstairs again. Just out of the corner of my eye. And I could I could hear him walking around. He's up here again. So he does leave the basement. Where's he going? To the left this time. Just following sounds right now. Which door? Which door? Oh! I could have stayed in that room. Never mind. Right, let's go save his life too. Should be a double. Stop it. Leave him with some blood, would you? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Damn, he runs away again. When do you kill the guy? I know you have to kill him. There's something on that shelf as well, I think. 
Okay, can, can you give me something special? I hope so. Grateful for having the, uh, the life spared from the monster, the servant offers a token of thanks. Elephant gun ammunition? That's cool. Uh, the more the merrier, basically. Right, okay. So what do I do? Do I just wait around for that guy to come up again and then attack him again? To be honest, if you can go from servant to servant just attacking them because they seem to like show their appreciation after that and give me some free stuff, so... I don't mind killing him over and over again. This, uh, this magic pool spell lasts for a long time as well, so this is pretty fantastic. Um, right, so I guess I should just wait by here, because this is the basement door. He's in the basement. He's going to come out. I'm just sort of like, wait for him at the ready. Chop, chop. It's not unlocked, is it? No, okay. Okay. Um, right, yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm honestly just going to wait. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. You know what? Let's, uh, let's sort something out, shall we? Let's go over here. Let's actually assign... 7 point... Mantarok to left. Yeah, sure. There we go. Because I think I'm going to be needing to use that throughout the remainder of the game, I would think. It does use a lot of magic, but of course that magic comes back uh, like twice as fast, I think, so it's pretty good. I might actually bind the 7 point enchant as well to the other D pad buttons or something like that. I don't know. Come on, come on. Do I have to do something to activate him? Uh, I was sort of looking at the front door last time. Like, let's just stand over here. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Where's he going? He's not being so subtle this time. He's around here somewhere. Oh! Got him. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's to the left somewhere, I think. Where are you going up? Yes, he is. It's <laughs> pretty good. Okay, stop it. Oh, the enchant has worn off, which is a bit of a bugger. As soon as I um, as soon as I kill this guy, I think I'll put it right back on. Okay, cool, cool. And he runs away again. Finish him off, man. But in its desperation to es escape from Edward, the vampire, yeah, it's the vampire. The vampire creature drops the top half of a key onto the floor. So I have the top half of the basement key and the bottom half. Let's mix those babies up. Yet again, he goes back to that little little plinth, that statue, like regaining his energy from Ulioff. Cheating son of a bitch. I guess I'm doing the same thing in a way, but... Okay, so let's go to top half, mix, bottom half. Okay. So I've assembled the broken basement key. It's still broken, though. So I haven't done this in a while, you know. Let's, um, enchant it. I don't know... If I need to do 3.7 point, 7 point, 5 point, let's do a 5 point one, because why not? Broken basement key, there you go. Okay, item's been repaired. I like the sound of that. Okay, so that should actually work as a proper key now. And now I can go to his, his lair, essentially, and take the fight to him. Hmm, but first, before I do that, let's enchant the item. In fact, you know what, yeah, let's assign this that to this. How's that? So, just need to press the right D-pad button and the saber. And Easy as that. Probably should have done that a little bit earlier, honestly, but it's going to save me time in the long run. Alright, so there we go. I think I'm fully equipped. All my bars are more or less full. Let's go. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Use the basement key, then go. There we are. <laughs> So here we are. And he's still down here, I can hear him. He might be invisible. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Got him. <laughs> so what? Ah, right, hang on. It's this that needs to go. This is the thing that keeps regenerating him. So, yeah. This, that goes first. Da. Stop it. There you go. Pretty powerful sword. Ah, shite. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, come on, that's annoying. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a little bit of a boss fight. But he's relatively easy. What sort of sound was that? That sounded like a glitch, actually. I'm not sure if it's meant to sound like that. Okay. Right, a few things to pick up. Right, there was something on the shelf. And it's a spell scroll. Is that spell 10? 
Summon Horror Spell Scroll. I knew I was going to get this at some point. As you might have suspected, that was the one I was saving for last. So you have a choice of the trappers, zombies, and a horror. Okay. Elephant gun ammunition again. And dabby dozy. Um, I thought that was another revolver, actually, but no, it's an antique double shotgun displayed on the wall. That makes some sense, actually. Okay. Yeah, because I've got elephant gun ammunition and shotgun ammunition. Uh, shotgun shells. Of which there are bloody loads down here. In fact, there's, there's some more. Oh. Revolver ammunition this time. Okay. Um, fuse box seems to be okay. I can go down there. That's probably where I need to go next. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Look at this. There you go. Revolver. Shotgun shells. I just need to run around this place spamming B, I think. More elephant gun. What's this? A couple of barrels of vintage port. No matter how bad life gets, one can always look to the bright side of things with the old Scarlet Rush. Very true. Okay. Right, I think we are ready to go down. So, I'm going to venture down the ladder. Alright, it's been a while since I've been down here. Last person down here was Maximilian, I think. Who nobody believed. Poor fellow. And there you are. En Engar, is that what it's called? Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel. But the thought of what lies inside, the Guardians of Ulioth, makes Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Okay. Um, yeah, you might be onto something there, honestly. <laughs> Although, maybe he doesn't know it at the moment. Okay, let's keep, let's, let's take the fight to them. I'm going right into the city right now. Hopefully going even further than Maximilian did. Okay. Sounds like there's someone around here. What have we got? What is it, a guardian? <laughs> I love how that takes some time to catch up. Okay. Two horrors. Um, Do I want to do this with the saber? Or do I want to do it with a shotgun? I might need to save the ammo, that's all. Let's see if we can do it with a saber. Let's go for the heads. Just like that. Oh, just, just like that. This enchant is so good. So good. I can't believe I was even thinking of using silly ammunition. Now, we're pretty much at the halfway point for this chapter, but as soon as I go through that gate, everything's going to get a lot harder. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video, I'm going to save, and I'm going to play this a little bit later, and uh, ask you to come back for part two of this chapter. Thanks very much for watching. As always, see you next time. How are you doing? Oh! The door is locked, of course it is. But not for... No wonder I couldn't access my inventory. Alright. No... <laughs> I love this shit. I love it. The servants, like, call... It... Mu... Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. Did you just see that? I think he went upstairs again. I think I'm fully equipped. All my bars are more or less full. Let's go. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Use the basement key. Then go. There we are. A little bit of a boss fight. But he's relatively easy. What sort of sound was that?